I don't know how men can think they can speak so freely about the failure of feminism and then de describe it in such broad, sweeping generalities that are not based on fact. Feminism in the United States was not started because people wanted the right to vote. It was much more profound than that. Women's concerns were about domestic violence, were about having no control over our property or our bodies or our children. And much more profound issues than that. There's the issue of slavery. There's the issue of um, for sterilization of Native American people in the 20 and 21st century, Native American women. Uh, the issues are so much more profoundly deep than the superficial discussions I'm hearing basically white Western males discussing. Uh, it seems feminism is only brought up by white Western males when they want to talk about genital mutilation so they can point fingers at Islam. The sexual revolution of the 60s and the 70s was very oppressive to women. The birth control pill had been invented. Also, uh, uh, illegal drugs such as marijuana, LSD, so on and so forth, were being pushed in our communities to uh, shut us up and ameliorate us. And we were still influenced by the Freudianism of the prior generation. And may I remind you that able-bodied white middle class hippie men we're telling women that if we didn't bend over and spread them on demand, that we were frigid, that we were dykes. The sexual revolution did nothing to liberate women. We did it ourselves. We weren't about something so superficial as burning bras. We were about building institutions. We were about knocking down walls. We were about saving our sisters. Now, you can talk about the new feminism failing all you want, but with such a superficial description of what feminism was for the last 200 years, Buka, do you think you really have a grasp on what feminism is today, especially among people of color, among exploited women in poverty? This is not just about pornography versus sex work. This is not just about that. You can't reduce the, those of us who are concerned about the, the mental impact of pornography on the way men treat us. You can't just dismiss that as we are being pawns of the religious right. It's not that simple. And the same is true about the sex worker rights. I was friends with Margot, can't remember her last name. She started Coyote, Call Off Your, own tire, your Old Tired Ethics. It was a prostitutes union back in the 70s when I was a teenage runaway living in the lesbian feminist community. Go look it up, Margot St. James. So bless them all for trying to do something about it. Feminism hasn't failed. It's being shouted out by white boys who say there is no patriarchy like the amazing atheist. But You know, if white people went around saying shit like the failure of the civil rights movement, I have a feeling people of color would shut that crap up right away. But it's open season on women, isn't it? Everybody gets to have an opinion about us, except us. Because, like, if I stand up for myself and say, I don't like atheist videos that call me a cunt, a twat, a bitch, and a whore. Then I hear how I'm frigid. Then I hear how I don't have a sense of humor. But people don't use racial epithets like that, now do they? So, Pook, I'll tell you what. You go back to school and you study under people like Adrian Rich. You read Audrey Lord. You go read Bettina Aptecker. She's a friend of mine. Read Bettina. Red Diaper Baby from the Bronx. Have a little humility. Stick to what you know. Let us work it out amongst ourselves. If you can't contribute something 
really positive and proactive. And if you can't address women's rights with the humility of the men with, yeah, you have privilege. If you can't address us with respect, then could you please stick to something, a topic where you know something? Because what you said in this video was just like, It's hard to have patience with this kind of thing, Puka, because I love you and I respect you a lot. And then you just completely mischaracterize my life's work in a little superficial 15-minute video. Get your boot off my neck. <laughs>